Hey guys, it's Russ here from Paddle and Hook Fishing. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the modifications I've made to make my John boat a little more practical and a little better to fish out of. Check it out. The first thing I want to brag on or show you here is my new casting deck. I just got it in today and uh, you know, I made that from scratch. Definitely had some trial and error. Have a nice little hatch going on. Sufficient storage. I also put some yak gear rod holders in here and I really love it because I can easily adjust the positioning. And it's made for a kayak, but um, I find it's great on the John boat here. I can actually disconnect and change uh, different items on there. I can put on a cup holder if I like, um, different types of rod holders, it's awesome. Of course, the swivel seat, fire extinguisher, paddle, GoPro mount, and I have some other hardware that can fit on that, and my little kicker motor. I ran into some unexpected complications when it came to mounting the seat on this John boat. I tried getting a clamp on seat just to fit the back bench so I could sit and use the tiller handle on the motor. Um, this tracker topper has such a wide and thick seat that I couldn't find one on the market that was big enough to, to clamp on the back here. So I had to return all that. So I actually went and got a, a seat mount, a swivel base and a seat that fit it from Walmart. Was super happy with it, um, but realized that when I had to drill down through the seat mount, I had no way of getting uh, washers and nuts up there to keep it in place. Fine. I go to my local marine store, which happens to be Shorts Marine in Long Neck. I buy a hatch. My neighbor has the tool. We go ahead and, and, and hole saw it, drill it out, put the hatch in, but my bench is full of spray foam. So <laughs> I couldn't, dig a tunnel in there and get up to put nuts on there um, on the bolts. So we use self-tapping screws and are hoping for the best there. That's not the problem. Seat base is great. The main problem I ran into was that it's such a low profile mount that the supplied screws fit, but there's no way I could get a screwdriver under there to mount them in. I went and I bought hex heads, same size, quarter 20, same length and everything, but I couldn't get things quite lined up because the seat was so flush mounted close to the bench. Fine. Now I'm actually cutting a wood set of brackets to raise the seat off the swivel bracket that I'm gonna bolt through. And hopefully that does the trick. All this to mount a simple swivel seat next to the tiller handle. When I was making the casting deck for the John boat, I realized that the wood is going to be, you know, adding a lot of weight to the project. So I decided to replace some of the wood buttresses um, that I was going to use to heighten the deck um, with styrofoam. Not just regular styrofoam, I mean like, you know, housing grade um, closed cell foam. 
It's really light, it was easy to cut. Uh, makes a little mess, as you can see on my pants. <laughs> when you cut it. But um, worked great, it was easy to cut, fits right in here, and I can't wait to make it a permanent part of the project. The next parts of this project took longer than I had imagined. After measuring and cutting the decking, as well as a fitted opening for the hatch, I applied fiberglass resin to every aspect of the wood surface. I allowed at least 24 hours to dry before sanding and reapplying each subsequent coat, eventually ending with three coats in total. With the fiberglass resin completed and dried, all surfaces were wiped clean with mineral spirits. I then applied two coats of Rust-Oleum Marine Coatings Primer, lightly sanding between coats with a 220 grit paper. I finished my weatherproofing with two layers of Rust-Oleum Marine Topside Paint. I chose the Battleship Gray color to match both my seat and the EVA foam decking I purchased online. Once I had everything bolted up and in place, it was time for the foam decking. I went with an alternative to the SeaDeck brand, choosing one that was 3M backed and that had good reviews online. It arrived in a 35 by 94 inch roll. I'm really pleased with the feel of this material. It was easy to apply and it was easy to cut this stuff. I'm excited to get the boat back in the water for a field test. You will definitely see me using this setup in my future videos. I hope this video can help you guys out there who plan to work on your own John Boat project. Until next time, tight lines.